If hands could talk, the stories Thomasinas would tell. In 2001, I start bouldering in Squamish, and that same year, I start going to the States for climbing, to Bishop, California, and in Texas, and randomly I would go to Europe if I had enough money. <laughs> I got really passionate about climbing, and it was all I wanted to do and think about. And in the last 15 years, this new fee native's professional climbing career has only gone up. Along with competing in numerous World Cups, the athlete was also the first Canadian woman to successfully boulder V10, 11, and 12 rock formations, the highest grade levels in the sport. Bouldering is, it's just climbing on rock itself, so there's no gear, no rope. And I'm outside, I'm on my own timing, I'm figuring out at my own speed, and it's fresh air, it's beautiful usually, but competitions have a different aspect that attract me. Like they're pretty like high pressure. You have to like really work on your mental strategies to stay relaxed and to be calm. Lucky for Thomasina, she's got these hands to help keep her steady. She's been climbing ever since she's been born. For a large majority of the last decade, nine-year-old Cedar has been traveling alongside her mom to the States and Europe for competitions, which is why it isn't surprising she's quickly following in her footsteps. I never really pushed her into it ever, but she just did it and it came natural to her. She likes rope climbing actually, so I'll delay her if she wants to rope climb and she'll boulder too. With this shy yet fearless climber quickly becoming her mom's number one trainer and fan, if I'm at a climb and I don't think I can do it and I'm, I'm saying, oh, I can't do it, it's too hard, she'll like look up at me and she'll be like, no, mama, you, you say that all the time, you can do it, you can do it. So I think this is something that we mutually feed off. They're in here a lot just to, to climb, to stretch, to, and we're friends as well, so hanging out. It's such a well-rounded sport. You can get into it alone with bouldering, you can get into it with a, with a partner. You can continue to be challenged for a long time. There's no cap on what's possible in climbing. With Squamish being one of the top rock climbing destinations in the world, residents of all ages and expert levels continue to try their hand at the sport. It's even one step closer to becoming an Olympic sport. However, for Thomasina, her main goal for it has remained the same since day one. To not lose the connection that climbing can bring to other people, other climbers, and also to the environment, like being outside, that's what I hope. In Squamish, I'm Vanessa Ibera for Go on Chalk TV.